All right, so today I want to cover budgeting for a custom home. So we're going to cover why you want to do it and when you want to do it, and we're going to go through the steps on how to do it, all right? So the first thing you got to know is, okay, look at where do I need to be at all in on my project, okay? And this includes land, and it includes the site development cost. Your site costs is going to include your permits and fees, your plans and design, and your build costs. So this would be all in, where do I need to be? So if that number is say a million dollars, okay? That's my budget, million bucks, I can't go over that. I need a design to meet that, or to hit that number with all my costs. So it all starts with your land. So you may have your land, you may not have your land. But what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna look at the, the cost of the land, what it was to actually buy that land or will cost to buy it. Then you have to evaluate the actual site cost to improve that land to get it to where you can actually develop and build a home on that land. So you got your site costs, then you got permits and fees, which are different depending on the location of the lot and where it's at in San Diego County. So you have to look at that and determine what those are gonna be specifically. So if you have costs that are some, like you have to tie into sewer or city water, uh, those can be significant costs. So we gotta look at all of that, or wells or septic systems, all of that that goes in. So there's different permits and fees for all of those. So we look at that. Then we're going to have a all in number for the land and our site costs. So once we have that and we know where we're at, so let's just say that number is say $300,000. Okay, it's 300 grand, that leaves us $700,000 to actually build a home, pay for the permits and fees, and then we have to have, and then we, for our plans and design of that home. So now what you, you have $700,000 left over, you have to now design a home to meet that budget. Now there's a number of things that go into me, uh, to designing the house. So the first thing is the structure itself. So there's structures that are very simple to build. If you have a, a box, either single story or two story, and it stacks and you have a very simple gable roof on that house, that's a lot cheaper to build than if we have a house that has a ton of walls that are cut up, it, they, they don't stack on top of each other. We got decks, we have a lot of covered patios and sort of things that make the structure harder to build. When it's harder to build, it costs more and there's more materials involved. So we can control our cost by not uh, designing a complex structure. So that's one thing we can do. The other thing that we can do is we can control the finishes that we put in this home. So if we have a, say an average level of finish versus a custom or a luxury level of finish, those price points per square foot on the exact same house will be much different, okay? So you can control the costs by controlling the level of finishes that go inside your house. So what we do, we have a $700,000 budget that we're working with. We now know that you have to design a home that is going to meet your square footage requirements for your family, it's going to do what you need it to do if there's any other uh, requirements that you have. Say if you need an office or you have a certain recreation area that you want in your house, um, certain size living space or living space like the family room or great room. So we have to take all those into consideration as far as the square footage and then also the level of finish. So let's say having a larger home, some more square footage is, is more important for you. So at that point, we have $700,000. We then look at reducing the level of finishes down to say an average level of finish in order to get you a larger square footage of living area in your home. And then vice versa would be if we say we have a nice retreat up in the mountains that we would like to have a real luxury level of finish and we don't need the space because we're not there all the time and we just do go up there and visit, we can then shrink the size of the house and then put a luxury level of finishes in that home which then gives us a very nice home but smaller and we still hit the $700,000 budget that we were attempting to go for. So what is really, really important is to, uh, on the very beginning, when, before you draw your plans, is to start working with a design build contractor that understands the building costs. So let me give you an instance. So if you start working with an architect or with a, or with a draftsman, they may be excellent at drawing and designing but they may not have a pulse on what the actual costs are for the build. So you end up designing a home, you could even have it all go all the way through the permitting process, 
and be ready to start building and then you start you send the plans out to get bid out by different contractors and the numbers start coming in way above your budget you were talking fifty thousand hundred thousand two hundred thousand it could be a lot of money over what you want to actually spend or what you can afford to spend now if you start with a design build contractor either you have a separate architect or draftsman or you work with a design build contractor that has a draftsman or an architect in-house working for them, you're able to not only get the knowledge and the design from the architect and draftsman and the experience of the builder in the design, but you also have the builder who has a pulse on what it costs to build. And he can be involved with you through that process and make sure that that home that's designed meets your budget so it's super important to get that team together the architect draftsman and builder and even an interior designer on the very front end to make sure you hit that budget so the first step is to get that budget established and then everything else falls together from there so if you'd like more information on the cost to build a custom home or you'd like to see some of our popular custom home floor plans or even would like information on how to buy land, we have an awesome how to buy land guide on our website that has a ton of information in it. So you can visit our website at tfgonline.com and you can download those resources. So thank you again for your time today and have an excellent rest of your day.